Tonight, new developments in the police raid of a small Kansas newspaper from late this summer. During our I-Team's extensive coverage, we talked to a witness who accused Marion Police Chief Gideon Cody of directing her to delete text messages. So we filed a public records request for the chief's text messages and emails, and that's also because through our reporting, we found out the chief used his personal cell phone and private email to discuss his investigation into the newspaper. And just this week, the city denied that request. And as our I-Team senior I-Team reporter Jessica McMaster reports, that denial ignores the state law. In 2016, Governor Sam Brownback amended the state's open records law to include personal devices that are used by public officials for public business. But the city of Marion claims it has no custody over personal cell phones and denied our request. A media law attorney who was involved in those discussions about changing the law says the city's response is mind blowing and tells us if the decision holds up, this law is not worth the paper it's written on. Did we all waste our time uh, putting this statute together? Um, because the city of Marion seems to think that it's uh you know, not a, not a worthwhile law. Max Couch is an attorney and an expert on Kansas's open records laws. The attorney hired by the city following the raids on Marion County record, Jennifer Hill, denied our request for Gideon Cody's text messages and emails saying the city has no custody over personal cell phones and Cora provides no enforcement mechanism. She goes on to say obtaining the text would place an unreasonable burden on the city. What's troubling is that the agency seems to be saying that it isn't a public record to begin with or that the agency doesn't have control over it. I mean, again, that just completely and totally uh, eviscerates the, the, the language of the 2016 amendments. Here's what the law says. A public record means any recorded information, regardless of form, characteristics or location that is made, maintained or kept by or in the possession of any public agency. The words on the page, very, very clear, but then the, the government actor, the, you know, the potential defendant, um, claims that reality is different. Marion County Record obtained a letter from the state about a local businesswoman's driving record. Gideon Cody erroneously called it a crime and raided the newspaper. The businesswoman told us Cody directed her to delete text messages after the raids. He felt it would be beneficial if I uh, deleted those text messages. This is what prompted us to request Cody's personal text messages. Those communications fit the definition of public records and are subject to disclosure. Jennifer Hill should have known this by now. Attorney for the newspaper, Bernie Rhodes. The idea that it's a burden for Gideon Cody to get up off his couch and hand his cell phone to Jennifer Hill makes me sick to my stomach. He can go forcibly grab cell phones from reporters, but he can't turn over his own cell phone to his own lawyer. Couch says unless someone fights the city's denial, the records will remain in the dark. It's a risk reward calculus by the agency and some of their calculus is, well, what's really going to be the consequence? Is anyone ever really going to come and try to do this? And and if not, then they, uh, you know, then their version of reality controls. This case could set a precedent, Couch says. This is a case of first impression. There's never been an opportunity for any court to, in, to enforce this since it was passed in 2016. As for those being denied access to the records. I mean, they have standing to bring an open records lawsuit. Gideon Cody even sent his resignation letter from his personal email address to the mayor's private email. The newspaper's attorney only got it because the mayor forwarded it to the public email address of another city official. Couch says the city's decision to withhold records could cost taxpayers in the end if this turns into a legal fight. For the I-Team, I'm Jessica McMaster, KSHB 41 News.